Hey guys, welcome to the Mountain Bear Show, Bear Talk number nine. How you doing? As you can tell, I'm outside in the woods. Uh, this is an area from where I live at they call Palm Flat. And this is like hunting season, so this is like a the big government road here that everybody gets one to hunt. Um, but I'm not hunting. I just thought I'd get out into the nature. <laughs> nah, um, anyhow, I hope everyone had a wonderful Saturday. I know I did. West Virginia and South Carolina got beat. Whoop, whoop. Hell yeah. Derek Jeter's out for the rest of the baseball season for the Yankees. Sorry, guys. Um, I guess now we'll be rooting on the Cardinals. Woo. Hey, how you doing? St. Louis. Um, Anyhow, um, that's my favorite song now that's playing. Diamonds in the Sky by Rihanna. Fucking love it. But, uh, can you, I mean, look how beautiful this is up here. I mean, it's just awesome. But, uh, <laughs> love the fall. But, uh, anyhow, um, I'm going to talk about something that maybe a lot of people don't want me to talk about. Or, you know, they got their own opinion, which I love when people have to, you know, they express their own opinion because it gives us something to actually talk about. And uh, I was talking to my best friend, Daddy Stefan from Sweden, and we started talking about bear runs and uh, the way a lot of people project themselves in them. And... I kind of feel this way, you know, everybody has their own agenda when they go there. Bottom line, everybody has an agenda. To me, you make it what you want it to be. I know I did when I went to uh, Bear Week in P-Town and to the Mountain Bear Run over here in Roanoke. I made it what I wanted it to be, and it was fun, um, hanging out with my friends. Uh, you know, to me, if people go to sleep with a... 25, 30 people in one weekend. Shit, let me watch. I'll clap you on. But, I, you know, that's not me. That's not my style. Um, to me, I'm more of a bullshit communicator. I love to talk about shit. I, you know, I love hanging out with my friends. Um, in a sense, I guess I'm a lot like Stefan. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's about who we hang out with and how we project ourselves. Um, you know, I'm proud of these people that can hook up with 30 people with no shame in their game. You know, um, same way with people that went to Scott Bearfest. You know, to me, I went to the run once, it was what it was. But if you go there and you hook up with Tom, Dick, and Harry, hey, I can't help you. I, I, I can cheer you on with it, but uh, that's not me. And it's to, you know, to each their own. You know, um, no judgment. Trust me, there's no judgment. Unless, you know, you're my partner, then there's a lot of judgment. There's a lot of judgment. Because there might be a little bit of ass whipping going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. But, uh, yeah, me and Stefan talked about that. And, uh, also, you know, I get a lot of influence from him when I when I do talk to him. He gives me a lot of ideas to talk about, and uh, which I'm very thankful for that because you know I kind of take what he says to heart, and uh, it means a lot to me. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I did not mean to get on about. You know, the situation of people hooking up at bear runs. But, uh, but again, it is what it is. You do what you want to do. Um, to me, it's... Trust me, I, I, I've i been there. But not as a hookup thing. Um, I ended up having two really good friends in the bear run. Well, in the Virginia Mountain Bear community. And uh, I became really good friends with them. And we would have meetings. And we would have bar nights. And I would park my truck at their house and they were walking distance from the bars and uh people started questioning me why is my truck there for one it's none of your business 
you know, that's my personal time, personal life, and it's none of your business. But saying that, it kept on and kept on and kept on about while I'm hanging out with these two people. And then at the same time, I was getting hit on by certain people in the bear group. And so I started expressing this very loudly to everyone. So they kind of know, they kind of knew not to fuck around with me because I would tell everything. And fuck it, that's me. That's me, you know. I don't want some 400 pound man telling me he's a cum pig and for me to come over and jack off on him while he's in a relationship. Fat bastard, get up and run around the block a couple times. You're not a bear. So that, that's, that's where my projection comes from, from the bear community as a whole. We kind of get things mixed up with who's a bear and who's not a bear and what a bear is and what a bear is not. You know, I, I will say this, I think the term bear or the terms that are in the bear community are more or less attitudes. You know, a cub's very playful, a bear's very serious. When it gets to the otters and everything else, I don't know what the fuck you are. Confused. That's it, you're confused. Um, when you come up with chasers and chubs, I never knew that they really, you know, I, I don't know. But, there again, I, I started expressing things. And maybe that was bad, bad on me, because it really projected out that way to me. You know, where... I had moved away to Seattle and I came back and people were, I mean, I was already talked about and people was told not to hang out with him, don't be around him, da 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 And then come to find out, it was like, oh, well, I really like you. You have a good attitude. Um, my partner says that we can hang out because of the things that we did here that wasn't good. But we can see that that's not true. To me, get to know me before you judge me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I can be a dick. I will say that. I can be a dick from hell. But then I can be your best friend. Um, and that's just me. Uh, I think the guys that are my friends, they'll, they'll tell you that. You know, Will, Will will give you the shirt off his back if he had to. Or if you needed it, you would have it. But at the same time, I'm not going to be put into a situation that I feel like I have to fight my way out of. Because I will. Um, but saying that, 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 that's that, and this is this, and wow, I cannot believe this. This is going to be a pretty good video, I think. Um, I want to give a shout out to Chuck Wagon Cowboy. Congratulations on your second season. I know you're working on it now. Um, I hope it all goes well. I know it will. Um, so, thumbs up to you, bud. I hope things go well with it. Um, to Jim and Scott out there in Palm Springs right now, I hope it snows on your ass. <laughs> we know that's not happening and that's a joke. I hope you guys are out there having fun. Um, so there's a shout out to y'all. Um, wow. Uh, can I? Can y'all believe I took the camera out here in the middle of nowhere to do a, a video? But I, I will tell you a funny story. Back when I used to go hunting with my dad, I was probably nine or ten years old. And I got sick and tired of running through these mountains. So I'd go back to the truck. And uh, I guess my attention span isn't that long sometimes. And I got bored. See that white pole? I actually caught that on fire one time. Uh, roughly 25 years ago. Um, I just got bored. Poured gas on it, said whoosh. Of course, we got our asses out of the woods. Um, lost the keys up here one time, and we had to take this not actually this road, but it, the road goes see the road, the road goes all the way through the mountains. And uh, we was parked at the lower end of it where there's another gate, and uh, we actually had to walk out the other side of this mountain for my dad to get another set of keys for us to get out of here. Around midnight, we made it out, um, which was a bitch. Um, so much fun. Um, also, there was three bears that were killed here in one season. That's another big reason why I, why I quit hunting, because I think killing bears in Virginia should be outlawed. Um, so that gives you a little bit of in-depth conversation about me on hunting. 
Wow, I wish I could just actually see this. I, I, I'm sorry that my camera cannot pick it up. The mountain ranges, right through there. It's just remarkable. So sometimes I do appreciate beauty in nature, you know, so there's where that's at. Uh, anyhow, um, I've been trying to keep up a little bit with uh, X Factor, but there's a show called South Beach Toe, South Beach Toe, and there's a woman on her, her name is Bernice, one bad motherfucker. Every time somebody calls her a bitch, she loses her mind. And I love it. I love it. I just love her attitude. And the other night I was watching her. And these two guys went to go do a repo. And it was this muscle woman. You know the bitch was on steroids. She was whipping their asses. She knocked one of them out. So they called Bernice for backup. So Bernice goes over and the woman hits her. Knocks Bernice on the ground. And while Bernice is laying down, she says, bitch, don't get up. <laughs> I said, oh, shit. Well, Bernice rolls over and she grabs a, a motorcycle helmet, taps that bitch on the back and whips her ass with it. She says, hit me again. <laughs> Knocks that white bitch out. So that was that, that, that was like my highlight of that show now. And uh, I have to say that is my favorite show just because of Bernice. She's just awesome. Um, but anyhow, uh, I'm going to put this up, get this on uh, YouTube. And today is some football. So I'm going to watch a little bit of football today. See how that goes. But anyhow, guys, I love you all. Big hugs. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. And I hope you have a great start of the week. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm, bye.